So today I'm going to show you a very early French doll from the early 20th century, about 1914 to 1916, and it was made by Henri Rostal in Paris, France. And actually, the name of the doll, he named the doll, and it was called Montresor, and that means my treasure in French. And so here's uh, one of the doll reference websites uh, showing more in information about this particular doll, and it says basically that there wasn't a lot of information on the short-lived Henri Rostal doll company of Rue du Tresor, Paris, France. Sorry if I'm butchering the French language. <laughs> I butcher uh, the American language with my New York accent as it is. Okay, so it says, Rostal made bisque head bebe, or bibi, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Just like my kids had to correct me when I used to call memes memes. And uh, uh, it says, uh, Rostal had made bisque head bebe, or bibi, or whatever the heck, child and poop, poupe, de mode <laughs> lady fashion dolls oh god french help help me <laughs> somebody correct me if you want to in the description below um lady fashion dolls with bodies of kid leather or composition and here's like some of the markings that you'll see on the back of a montresor doll's head and uh, here's one of the fronts of the box of one of his dolls that you know that they came in this is what a typical Henry Rostel Montresor doll's body looks like. It's made out of wood and composition and is jointed. And right now, I'm going to actually show you um, one of my Montresor dolls. So hold on one second while I go get her, and I'll show her to you. So here's my Montresor doll, and I have an inkling. Now, I may not be right, and I don't know, I'm just guessing, that actually Henry Rostel was probably a German who moved to Paris, France, and actually wanted to have offices in France and his factories in France, but he brought the Germanic doll making experience with him over to France because it was known back then that French dolls were luxury and elite and were more expensive. And a lot of German doll makers actually moved their offices over to Paris and not as much said is said about this company. So I have a feeling that this is actually a German doll that was just made in France or the molds were made in Germany and brought over to France to be made there so he could slap a Made in France sticker on these dolls. So as you can see here, this one's uh, nice and tall. She's uh, actually, she's got a very weird mechanical automaton mechanism inside her body. So when you um, actually move her foot forward, watch what happens. It's hard to do this with one hand and film with the other. But if you pull the foot forward, her head actually moves and so she has like an automaton type of mechanism inside her body that's attached to the neck into the head and so i thought that was pretty cool um it's just very hard to show it to you her head actually turns much more when i'm not doing this with one hand so um these dolls like montresor dolls have very strange looking cobalt blue glass eyes you don't generally see this color on other dolls and i've only noticed this in the montresor dolls and uh, actually I'm going to take off her hat and wig to show you what the uh, whole head looks like and she has pierced ears and this one just you know it has a little staining on the bisque and some like like granulation and this was as you can tell a cheaply made French doll this is not your average like Jumeau doll or FG doll or one of those other really elite French doll make made dolls. Um, this one is what you pretty much call the middle class jumeau. And you could see some wig pulls on her head. So somebody had pulled off the original wig that was glued on and the bisque came off with it. And there's the marking, 28 Montresor. Now what I did was I stuffed the inside of the head with paper so the glass eyes don't fall inside the, the head and shatter. I do that on all my antique dolls. And uh, so, yeah, and um, the only thing I don't like about this doll is, is that she really needs a new outfit. This outfit is just a replica of an antique doll dress. It's a little too big on her, as you can see here. But nonetheless, um, it's there for just now. And I'm not too keen on her wig either. I'm not that crazy about it. It's uh, too pale for her skin. And eventually when I get um, better uh, stuff, like better clothes and a better wig, I'll just redress her. So I thought you guys would be interested in seeing her. She does have an open mouth with teeth. And she's on a jointed composition body, but it's a mechanical body. And why is my camera not focusing? Okay, there we go. And so once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.